Welcome to this quick demonstration of using formulas with date fields in FormMaker. Uh, if you haven't seen the, um, the video about formulas in general, I suggest you watch that one first uh, before watching this one. So this one is specifically to do with dates and, uh, and formulas. So we'll start off by um, just creating a new form, uh, giving it a name. There we go. Go into design mode. We start off by just dragging on a date. And with formulas, we use tags to identify the source fields for formulas. So in this case, we'll call the tag D1. Drag on a little label field, uh, sorry, a text field. And in this case, we'll just say equals value D1. So that'll just show the, the current value of the date. Not very useful, but it does demonstrate the fact that we can change the, uh, the date field and in an immediate response, the, uh, the text here changes in this field here, and that's based on the formula equals value. So we do something slightly more useful. So we'll go in, uh, select this date, and we'll clone it. Now the clone, because it's a clone, will also have the uh, tag D1, because it's a clone. So we've been over that both this state and this state have both got the, uh, the tag D1. So I'm gonna change the formula here. So instead of equals value, to equals difference. And I'll make it to two decimal places. That's what that two in square brackets does. It says show the value to two decimal places. So when I run this, we'll see that if we uh, add a day, there we go, one, add a month, we can see that it's gone to 333. Now the reason for that is, because this is December 2018, this is January 2018. So actually that's nearly a whole year's difference. And in fact, probably what I wanted to do there is say January 2019. So December 2018, January 2019, just over a month. So 32 days between those two. And that's great. Um, so that's uh, the date field. And there's also the time field. So if I go into design mode again, add a new page, I'll call this one time. There we go. And if I just scroll down to our time field, Stick a tag on it, it's called T1. There we go. And I'll go straight in and create a clone of it. So this is T1 and this is T1 in terms of the, um, the tags. And then create a text field. And I'll call, I'll just give this a label of um, minutes, ooh, minutes. Then I'll say uh, the formula for it is equals difference t1, and again I'll put it to two decimal places. There we are. So what I'll do just before um, coming out of design mode is I'll just move this page, the time page, to be the first page on the form, and I can do that quite easily with the move page control. So that's just scroll to the left there and you can see time is actually that's the first page now not the second page so now when i run it you can see the two time fields minutes worked so if i add a minute onto here oh, that's interesting 0 0.02 0 0.03 and the reason is because this is a decimal value so if i went to say quarter past the hour oh let's go to half past the hour there we go half past the hour to quarter to the hour which is quarter of an hour you'll see that this is 0 0.25 because it's decimal it's a decimal equivalent of the minutes quarter of an hour so if i make went from uh, 4 30 and then said to the o'clock the hourly value say five o'clock 4 30 to five o'clock 
0.5. So it's, it's half an hour, 0.5. If I add an hour here, 1.5. So actually, this is, I've put minutes worked here. It's actually hours, isn't it? It's hours with decimal places. So let's correct that. Let's quickly change that to hours. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll give this hours work field a tag in itself. I'll call this one h1. Because now I can add another field here called hourly rate. And put in a default value of, say, 20. And give this one a tag also of h1. There we are. And then I can calculate the wage based on the time worked, the hours worked, and the hourly rate. Let's just call that wage. And the way I do that is by multiplying together, so equals multiply, all of the fields with the tag h1, which is our hours worked and our hourly rate. We'll show it to two decimal places. But, of course, we need the hours worked calculated before the wage. Because it's got to do this calculation, this formula first, and then this formula. And the way we say that is by putting a value in curly brackets. And in fact, in this case, any value above zero would work. Because zero is, if you don't have anything at all, it will run it first. Then anything after that, so in this case, two, this will mean that it will run this formula second in the sequence, so after it's done the hours worked. In fact, this value could be anything above zero. But if we wanted to add another formula that was that worked off wages, for example, then that one would have to have a higher value than two. So two in this case just indicates that it's got to run this formula second in the sequence of formula runnings. And you'll see what I mean when I run it. So there we go. Let's go in. So let's say they uh, they work an hour. So there we go. Hours works calculated as one, and then it does one times twenty. Let's create twenty. If I do two hours, forty. So it's that thing in curly brackets made this formula run after this formula. So again, I can do minutes here. So let's go. Let's say it's to six thirty from. 15, let's say that. 4.15. So that's two and a quarter hours calculates to 45, which is right. So there we are, that's times and formulas calculating um, total values, more multiplying together values. Um, the last one I'll show you is, let's go into design mode again. Add a page. I'll just show you the date time field. So let's go add page date time. And that's the date and time one. That's down the very bottom of the field at the moment because it's the latest one that we've added. Let's go in here, give it a tag of DT1, clone it. Oops. Have used that actually. Why is that clone there? There we are. So that's also DT1, and then I'll have a little text box here, which I'll say is the difference between the two. DT1, I'll show it to two decimal places. Okay, I won't bother moving this page. I'll just run it, which means I've got to skip over that one. So this one, uh, currently zero. If I increase the hours, you see this is one hour. Two hours. Let's go from 45, so a quarter to the hour to o'clock. There we are, 1.25 which is great. We can also change the day, which means we get days and 
decimal minutes. So that's kind of handy if you've got, say, a, uh, a shift that goes past midnight. So from one day through to the next day. Very useful for that sort of thing. And of course, we could have another formula which used this to create um, a wage. So that's it. That's um, date fields and formulas with Formmaker. Uh, that's about all there is to it.